Yo dudes, what's up? Right, what we're going to do now is solving the middle layer of the cube, the step three of the cube. Right, the middle layer, what I mean by this is with my other Rubik's Cube, which I've got here, is getting the middle layer all in place. So these bits that were missing before, the middle edges, are now in place. So that's what we want to do. That is our next step of solving the cube. The thing with this is, this is probably the hardest step of the cube and I've, I've looked around and this is the only way these two algorithms that help solve this part of the cube, this is the only way you can do this part of the cube. So even the professional people have to do it this way and it's the one and only way and obviously it's the quickest way as well. But it's very hard to remember and this is one where you have to write it down and learn these two different algorithms. Right, to start this off then, what you have to do is find a middle piece with two colours, like here, orange and yellow. So then, where the orange one is on the front side, you'll find the orange to match that up. Just go around one and the orange matches up here. Right, so this is matching. Then you have to turn it round so that the yellow bit, because the yellow bit's on top, is facing you. And this is the first algorithm to put this bit here the orange and yellow piece into this bit here. I want to do it really slow so you don't get confused. Where the orange one is on the front side, you'll find the orange to match that up. Just go around one and the orange matches up here. Right, so this is matching. Then you have to turn it round so that the yellow bit, because the yellow bit's on top, is facing you. And this is the first algorithm to put this bit here, the orange and yellow piece, into this bit here. I want to do it really slow so you don't get confused. Top, anti-clockwise. Front, anti-clockwise. Top, clockwise. Front clockwise, top clockwise, right clockwise, top anti clockwise, right anti clockwise, and it, as you can see, that now is in position orange, orange, yellow, yellow. So now you can leave that one there. Then you'll go around and you'll find another piece of the cube. This one is the red bit here and the yellow piece and you can see where that needs to go it needs to go here with the yellow piece and the red piece now this because the red bit is in the front and the yellow piece is on the right hand side so you've got to go that way you start with the cube facing you and this is a different algorithm this is the other algorithm that you're going to have to learn right and I'll go slowly again so that you can learn it. Top clockwise, right clockwise, top anti clockwise, right anti clockwise, top anti clockwise, front anti clockwise, top clockwise, and then you'll bring it back to the start with front clockwise. See that? As you brought it back it's put that piece into position as well. So now you have the two pieces here that are all in position and somehow we got lucky with this bit here <laughs> the orange and white bit because it's just got itself into the correct position here which is a bit of a bonus. Then you're going to look around the cube to find the very last piece which is this piece here the white and red piece, as you can see, white and red. And we're going to follow the algorithm, which is the one with the front going to the right, which is top clockwise, right clockwise, top anti clockwise, right anti clockwise, top anti clockwise, front anti clockwise, top clockwise, and front clockwise. Bringing it all in position. Everything is now in position, and that is a middle layer solved of the Rubik's Cube. Every now and again what will happen is you'll put it down into its position and it will be the wrong way round. 
the yellow you want there and the orange you want on this side. That will happen every now and again, there's nothing you can do about it. Just do one of the two algorithms that we've already learnt and it will bring this cube here back up to the top. I'll just do the one that's at front, either one, they both do the same thing. So it'll be top, clockwise, right clockwise, top, anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, top anti-clockwise, front and anti-clockwise, top clockwise and front clockwise. As you can see that cube now with the two stickers we want has now gone up to the top here and then we'll put it back in the place where we want it going to the right side so do the same algorithm again which is top clockwise, right clockwise, top anti-clockwise, right anti-clockwise, top anti-clockwise, front anti-clockwise, top clockwise and front clockwise, bringing it all back down level, solving the middle layer. Thank you very much, I'm going to do step four next, I'll see you later, cheers.